Jake Trotter will join us in 10 minutes to talk Browns. We'll do Cavs, no fence riders after that. But guys, we haven't talked Guardians in a while, and Major League Baseball is releasing its top 100 players of the upcoming season. And our guy Josh Naylor came in at number 96, which... Yeah, you were all up in arms about yeah, this. I, I didn't had think, an issue with I this. didn't think it was that egregious, did you? I didn't think it was that egregious. You guys didn't think it was that he egregious. He had a really good season. Yeah, yeah but one. one. What's that? He said one. You don't base it just on one season. Ellie De La Cruz is on there after playing half a season. They got well, the dude. He's only they got the dude season. from the Dodgers who is just coming over from Japan at number fifty-eight. De La Cruz is one no, of the biggest Atani, prospects the in the game. Guy. That's the point. It's based on the past and the projection of what you think the guys are going forward. It's not uh, you don't think Josh Naylor is better than ninety-six? What's that? You don't think Josh Naylor is better? than I mean, 96. he might be. I haven't seen the rest of the list. I can't read the guys. Ahead of him. The guys I mean, ahead of him on this 90 through 100. 91 is Nathan Avaldi. <coughs> 92, Dylan Cease. 93, Cal Raleigh. 94, Gabriel Moreno. 95, Royce Lewis. 96, Josh Naylor. 97, Tristan Cassis. 98, Nathaniel Lowe. 99, Mac McLean. And number 100, Ellie De La Cruz. So there's a ton of guys there that Ellie are or were potential. top prospects. Right. Royce Lewis was the number one pick. He's had a ton of injuries, but he's got a really high ceiling. Right. Raleigh's a power hitting catcher. Yeah, he's not that good though. I, I don't love. I mean, I probably I think he's a better player than Raleigh. Yeah, but probably. he's a catcher, so you get a little boost. And and Naylor only hit what? How many home runs did he hit last year? Seventeen. He's not Is a that massive it? power guy. No, I thought he hit. No, I mean, he, he had hundred RBIs. Listen, the bottom. Right listen, there, Naylor had a heck of a year. He did, but he's he has average power at best yes. and no speed. So yes. guy, like he's not, and he can't play defense. And he scored fifty two runs, which is not necessarily his fault. But that's not a great number either. Josh Naylor is a good player who had a good season. Are there guys ahead of him that I probably like him more than them? Sure. But I bet if I looked at their list from 100 to 120, like if you asked me who would I rather have this year, Josh Naylor or Ellie De La Cruz? Yeah, Ellie give me Ellie De La Cruz. Because <laughs> yeah. 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 he's got way more upside got, than Josh Naylor. There. Now, he might not have a better year, but he's got way more upside. So... Could Josh have been as high as the seventies or the eighties? Sure, probably. Can you pull that back yeah. up? That's a good. That's a good point, Bull. Let's see who would you rather have yeah. on that list. Matt McClain. I also have a- the seventies, sixties, and eighties too. If you want to see those afterwards. Well, I mean, some of those guys in the early, like I do like Naylor right now. I take him over Cal Raleigh. I would too. Um, I mean, Nate Evaldi. It's hard to compare a pitcher to a yeah, hitter. It's hard. I would lean pitcher probably. Yeah. I would take Evaldi and Cease over Naylor. Right. Cease had a bad year, yeah, but he's I'd been still good yeah. for the most part. Gabby Moreno. Gabby Moreno's another guy who had a big – he had a good rookie year. Right. Like, you'd take Gabby Moreno right. over Josh Naylor. Royce Plus Lewis for catcher. sure. Yeah. Casas is a better first baseman than Although Naylor. Casas is behind him. Yeah. Casas should be ahead of Naylor. Yeah, like, I'm surprised Nathaniel Lowe's not He should be ahead of him. Yeah. Although, Lowe's a very similar – Type high, of high average, mid power. Yeah, he's got a little more power than Naylor. I'm a, how many home runs low have last year? I thought he year? had more than 20. Didn't well, he? Naylor, Naylor missed a chunk of the season. He was on pace for you know, 20. Yeah, listen, he had a 25. good year. He's a good player. And he's also only done, he was never a top, top elite prospect. Right. And, think and about, he's had one good year. Oh. And think about this. You have, in the, on Major League rosters during the season, you have what, uh, 700, 800 players, roughly? All right, what's 30 times, 20, 30 times 26, Mike? Give me a little math here. 600, 780. Okay, 780. 780. 780 players. Confirm. So if we say he's 96 or whatever he was, I mean, is that an insult? That's the top, what, 12%? Top 13%? Here's 90 to 81. Uh, Anthony, Anthony went up to go grab Jake, so I'm just going to read these names. Yeah, yeah. Here. 90's Jordan Montgomery. Well, oh, I'm taking Montgomery. 89, Matt Chapman. Oh, Matt Chapman's better. 88. Hassan Kim of the Padres. 87, Nolan yeah. Jones. Yes. Wow. Oh, Jones should probably be higher than that. But, again, he only did it once. He only did it once, but, man, the Guardians blew I it on know. him. 86, blew it on Anthony him. Santander. <laughs> Anthony Santander's better. Sam 85, Pandera. J.D. What? Martinez, who might be 58 years old at this point. J.D. Yeah, he's still, still he's unsigned. Still, yeah, he's good. 84, Seiya Suzuki, did I pronounce it right? Yeah, Cubs? Seiya. Say A- you, say me. 83, Seiya Marcel Azuna. 82, Wilson Contreras. 81, William Contreras. They got William Contreras ahead of Wilson Contreras? William of the Brewers ahead yeah. of this Wilson list. of the Just MLB.com. This is MLB.com. I mean, I, all those guys 80 to 90 are better than Josh Naylor. Yeah. 
Probably. Yeah. I will say Contreras didn't have a great season last year, but yeah. he's been a much better player overall. I, I mean, before last year, Naylor would be nowhere near that top 100. No, list. not even close. So he, he would had be the top 200. He had year. one good year, and he cracked the top 100. Right. Right. McNuggets, where is World Series champion Austin Hedges? Uh, uh, Seven hundred. Well, they, they've only released the top fifty so far, so I'm assuming he's in the next fifty. Okay, yeah, he'll be, be in the, the top. Wor- 50, he's the yeah. worst player in baseball. If we said seven eighty, uh, do you guys want real quick? Yeah, right. Bo, do you want seventy to eighty real quick, and then go ahead. Seventy to eighty. Let's have fun. eighty is Edwin Diaz of the Mets. <laughs> seventy nine. He Max, didn't play last year. He was hurt the whole season. Max Muncie, seventy eight. Isaac Paredes, seventy seven. Josh Lowe, seventy six. Josh Springer or George Springer, excuse me. 75, George Kirby, 74, Tyler Glasnow, 73, Kyle Bradish, 72, Christian Yelich, and 71, Brian Reynolds. Yeah, those guys all are better. All, all better. way better. I can't believe Glasnow, 74. Yeah, some of those guys I was surprised were that low. I know Springer had a bit of a down year. Yeah, but Glasnow should be top 50. <laughs> Based on what he gave us, 70 to 90, I think Naylor's right. I mean, I think that's right <laughs> yeah, where he should be. Yeah, I don't have a so problem. So he was not screwed. Because those guys are all – those guys have been – most of those guys from 70 to 90 – have been consistently at the level, if not higher, than Naylor, not one year. Or they were top prospects who had one good year. Right, exactly. So I think Naylor belongs between 90 and 100. I think that's Well, right. let me ask you guys this then, not Naylor. Yeah. They've gone up to 60. Yeah. And Naylor's the only guardian so far. Well, Jose will be up well, top. Outside of Jose, will there be another guardian in the top? Classe will be up there. Yeah, Classe will be up there. Um, Those two, anyone else? Bybee will be on there. He thinks he'll be in the yeah. top 60? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Who give me the pitchers, Mike? What's sixty to seventy. What's fell off that bad, huh? Well, uh, I don't know. I gotta pull it fell back off up. That bad. What, what is that, you? Mike? I gotta pull it back up. What's uh, the top pitcher that they've released? Starting pitcher that they've yeah, released. Top the top pitcher they've released is the guy that the Dodgers just signed out of Japan. Yoshi yeah, no way. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Justin Verlander. No, nah, Bybee's not. Right. Bybee's not on the list. Bybee and Gavin Williams. No. Gavin Williams should be on that list somewhere. Bybee and Gavin Williams should be on that list. They will. Gavin Williams was a top prospect. He I know, had, but he had he didn't do enough last year. Bybee was better than Gavin. Maybe Williams. I'm being biased, but I think maybe they should both be on the top 100 list. They, I bet you they won't. I bet you Jose will Quan make it. No, I don't think so. Top 60 player? Probably not. Jimenez I, fell off that bad. That he ain't not, gonna make the list. If he was on the list, he would have been already That's on. That's crazy. You're talking about top 60 now. I think Class A and Jose are the only ones that are gonna be on there. I could be wrong. But there's no way they're putting Bybee or Gavin Williams ahead of Justin Verlander, even at his age. And this ya- you're talking about your sh- Yamamoto, right? Yes. That's the Japanese pitcher. Yamamoto is – everybody thinks he's going to be an ace. Yeah, next year he'll be a lot higher on that. Probably because yes. he's never done it. Right, right, right. right. So 61 he's not, to there's 64, no way they're putting Bybee ahead of – 61 that, to 64 are all pitchers. Yamamoto, 61. Verlander, 62. Kodai Senga. Of the yeah, Mets, the Mets on the Mets and list, Justin yeah. Steele of the Cubs, who had a Cy yeah, Young Justin Steele field. was top ten for Cy Young. Bybee should be on that list somewhere. He was second on the Rookie of the Year voting, and he wasn't an elite prospect, but right. he was highly well thought of. Our Keith Law said he's a, he could be. A if he were going to be one. on the list, though, it would have been around where Naylor is, or maybe in the eighties. I would eight. say seventies. He's not as good as any of those pitchers, or you know. But again, you you have to factor ceiling into it. Verlander's at the end. He is what he is. Right. Bybee's got a lot more runway. I guess I got to know who voted on this too, whether it was the players or it's just an MLB Network list. Yeah, it could I, be I don't the players because the players it. wouldn't have no, voted for Yamamoto. No. Or, I don't know. I think Bybee should be on that list. Yeah, but he's not. But he's he's not going to be ahead of those pitchers. Probably I just not. don't see it. All right, we're switching gears. Yeah, we're going to go back to the Browns. Bring okay. in Jake Trotter after a quick word from FanDuel. Happy Super Bowl season to all who celebrate from FanDuel, America's number one sports book. If you're like us, Super Bowl Sunday is all about scoring the best seats on the couch, grabbing your favorite snacks, and placing some super bets. And right now, FanDuel has so many different ways to help you end the season with not just one win, but hopefully two, three, or many more. Not only can you bet on who will win Super Bowl 58, but FanDuel also has bets for who will score touchdowns, how many points will be scored, and so much more. And the best part, new customers who join today get $200 in bonus bets if their first bet of $5 or more wins. So make sure you visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS to sign up. That is FanDuel.com slash UCSS. Make every moment more with FanDuel, an official sportsbook sponsor of the NFL. And